Let's start our today's Abhidhamma study. Bring homage to the Buddha, reciting Namo Tassa three times together. Namo Tassa Agawato Karahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Agawato Karahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Agawato Karahato Samma Sambuddhasa Today we are going to study chapter 5, which is called the Vichimuta Sangha. We have already finished four chapters of Abhidhamata Sangha. Number four chapter is Viti Sangha, which is translated as the chapter of cognitive process. So here, in number five chapter is called the Viti Mutta Sangaha. It is translated as the process free, process free. As we have learned in the only the process, during the awakening time of our life, our consciousness is taking the object and, and running in the process most of the time. But between two process, there are the times of the Bawanga. That Bawanga and the beginning of life, which is called Padisandhi, and the end of life, which is called Suti, Kuti, all together, three moments. This Sandi, Awanga, and Kuti are regarded as a process free. Viti Mutta. And also, they are regarded as the Dwara Vimutta consciousness, Dwara Vimutta, at the moment of Padis Sandi, Awanga, and Kuti. So now in this chapter, it will mostly emphasize on this moment, this moment of Pradesh Sandi, Pawanga, and Chitti, and the information related to the process-free moment will be explained in this chapter. So in the first lesson of this chapter five, we will focus on the plane of existence and individual. Actually, this chapter, in this lesson, the contents are already mentioned in lesson two, lesson 02. Many of this information are explained already in lesson two to introduce you uh, about the 31 plane of existence. And here we will again, uh, as this is the, the place where in the Vita Mata Sangha is playing. So we will discuss again. Here in the chapter five of Vita Mata Sangha, Viti Mutta Sangha, uh, there are four sections. The first one is the Bhumi Chituka, which is called the four planes of existence. Four planes of existence there. Uh, it will mention about their plane of existence. What are the plane of existence? 31 plane will be explained. And individual. So individual in this plane of existence and can find the respective individual where we can find in the, the, the related plane of existence. Then the lifespan of the being in this, in this plane of existence. 
So how long they can live. Also we explain. Then in second session is called the Pati Sandi Chatuka, the four types of rebut linking. So as I said, this chapter, this uh, this chapter will focus on the process free. So this is one of the process free moment, rebut linking. And it will classify into different types. So this also, we already introduced in the several times during the, the lesson series of this Abhidhamma study about the rebut linking and individual. Then Kamma Chatukka, the four types of Kamma, four types of Kamma. <clears throat> then the last session explained the Chutti Pati Sandi Kamma. So here, a Chutti is that moment. Pati Sandi is the first moment. So after that moment comes Pati Sandi for those who have um, potential to be reborn any place. So death and rebirth. This is the Chutti Pati Sandi Kamma. So actually, if we consider about the life, starting, we start from the rebirth, rebirth to the death, birth to death. But actually, after death also, there is rebirth for those who have you know, defilement. But for the Araha, there's no more rebirth, and the after death is finished. For the life continuum, life, the life cycle is finished. This is for Araha. For those who are non Araha, they have to reborn somewhere. So after death, it comes rebirth. So the Pati Sandikama will be explained in this chapter five. So especially we can divide it into two sets, two, uh, two lessons. But here, uh, this chapter five, we have uh, introduced several times about this information, about the uh, rebirth linking, uh, some come, some uh, introduction to karma, and also um, many repetition in four plane of existence. So we can reduce our uh, lesson times here. So in the first lesson, I uh, was trying to explain the plane of existence and also individuals and their lifespan. Then in the second lesson, I will try to explain the, the types of Pratisandhi and also the Pratisandhi Kama. Also, it's already mentioned many times. So uh, the, the types of Kama is a little bit, you know, take times. Then we will continue to the relationship between Kama and Vipat. So we will understand everything in the, uh, explained in, Chapter five. Okay, let's continue today's lesson. Here, uh, Orgasa Loka, which is called Orgasa Loka, 31 plane of existence, we already he, he studied this <clears throat> in the chapter two. So here, uh, Brahma world 20 and Karma Vajra 11. So this is sensual plane. Uh, the plane of existence, sensual plane of existence, 11. So altogether, 31 plane of existence. <clears throat> and there in Kama Vajra, a sensual sphere, 11 divided, subdivided into two, four, apaya, which is translated as a woeful state. And the seven are beautiful, beautiful plane of existence, Kama Sugadi. So still, sensual sphere, but they are the beautiful side of the sensual sphere. So seven <clears throat> are beautiful and four are woeful states. Then in case of Brahma, also divided into two, 
one Rupa Brahma, the, which connects with the matriologies, and Arupa Brahma is without matriology. So no more matriology, only mentality. So this, although this is emphasized by the name of Rupa Brahma, it uh, consists of uh, 15 consists of the, the both mentality and matriality we will see here. And only one plano is this, the Asanya Sata is no mentalities, only the materialities. And so let's see again to Apaya one after another. So Apaya, Niriya, Derechana, Beta, Asura Kaya, <clears throat> already know. It's quite easy. So if you see this, this, this slide, if you study this slide and an explanation about the name, <clears throat> you will understand all the 31 plane of existence, including the beams <clears throat> in this plane of existence. Okay, so for all Oku state, after that, higher than that, which is the beginning of the beautiful plane of existence is Manosa, human beings. And they were, six they were realms are higher than the, the human realms, but we cannot say it is better than all the time. The, in this slide, we will discuss about that. And Manosa, human, and Dewa. So Chetu Maharaja, it's called this Chetu Maharaja, Ajika. And Tawati Insa, Yama, Tusita, Nimanarati, Pranimita, or Sawati. <clears throat> then, if we talk about the, uh, the, the reason why we reborn in this plane of existence in sensual, sensual sphere is for the Oku state due to the Anho Sankama. And for the beautiful planes, seven beautiful planes, and due to the Ho Sankama, what uh, we have done in daily life. <clears throat> then for the Brahma wall, we need to practice concentration meditation up to the jhana level for the wholesome jhana. To attain the wholesome jhana, we have to uh, practice. Uh, the wholesome jhana will produce the life in uh, Rupa Vajra Bhumi, five material sphere plane, and in Arupa Vajra Bhumi, immaterial sphere plane. Without the attainment of jhana concentration <clears throat> we will be running around only in the sense peer plane sometime to abaya sometime in beautiful planes only when we can practice concentration meditation up to the jhana level we have opportunity to be reborn in the system brahma world or <clears throat> system Rupa Vajra Rams or four Arupa Vajra Ram. But among the system also, there are some exceptions we will see because they, they are the five Sudawasa. Only three types of highest individual can be there in Sudawasa. That is why without the attainment of the Anagami Mega, we cannot be reborn in the Sudawasa around the samsara, when we are running around the samsara. So uh, we, were, uh, we were reborn as a Bhutujana, uh, other place from the Sudawasa. Okay, so here, yeah, uh, let's see about the, the Rupa Vajra realms. <clears throat> so depends on the, the level of Jhana concentration, so Pratama Jhana concentration can send to a three five material sphere existence. Brahma, Bra Brahma Parisaja, uh, Brahma Prohita, Mahabrahma. So <clears throat> these are uh, the three types of past Jhana realms three types of pasjana realms. And the Mahabhyama is the highest one, but they exit 
in the same uh, same level same level that they classify due to their power of due to their uh, power and the power of how to say them uh, the jhana the level so if someone practice in the the small amount but up to the first jhana level very not very powerful that is brahma parijata then the brahma prohita is higher than that the more powerful and the Mahabrahma is the highest one in this, this uh, stage of jhana. And in the same way, the other also classify Pritapa, Mahakata, and Apamanapa, like this. So in this way, Patamajana level, even in the Patamajana uh, realm of existence, can be classified into three. But they are existing in the same realm of existence. And for the second realm of existence, the Prittapa, Apamanapa, Abhasara. And the third realm, Prittasuba, only the Vasu become a seed. And Abhamana Suba, and the last one changes. So Abhasara is Suba Kena. Then there are nine for the lower three jhana plane of existence. As there is no fifth jhana, there is no fifth jhana realms here, yeah? as mentioned there here, and there is no fifth jhana realm. The rest must be included in the fourth jhana, fourth jhana realms. So there are seven fourth jhana realms. These seven fourth jhana also divided into three divisions. One is Vihafala, related to all beings, all beings refers to their ordinary or noble person. Now, Asanya Sada only wildlings or, or Bhutujana, ordinary person. And the, for the Sutta was a five, only the three highest noble, noble persons, Nagami Megatana, Nagami, uh, Nagami Palatana, here it should be Nagami Palatana, sorry, uh, Nagami Palatana, and Arhada Makatana and Arhada Platana, only three highest individual can be there. But as a rebirth uh, moment, at the moment of rebirth consciousness, there must be only one type. Uh, Anagami Platana here, this must be Falatana, who already attained the Anagami Phala. And if he practice there, the Upasana meditation, he will attain the Arhada Mega. At that moment, he is called the Arata Megatana. After that, uh, he become he, the Arata Platana individual. After that, attain the uh, Parinibbana. So, these five Sudawasa of Aviha, Atapa, Sudasa, Surasi, and Agnita related to only three highest noble passing. In this way, we can understand the system realm of existence for the five material sphere. Then, if one practice after the attainment of Fajana, according to the Abhidhamma classification, according to Sutta classification, if after attainment of the full jhana, if he wish to continue the four Aruba realm, Aruba jhana, he need to see uh, the discussed aspect of the materialities, then trying to focus on the, the Akasa, the space. And uh, after that, he continued to the practice focusing on the space, infinite space, which is called the infinite space. And starting from the um, casino, then remove the counter sign that this will be explained in the, um, the last chapter of Vita Mata Sangha, the, the Kamatana Sangha. So how to practice? Here, just introduce about the, the realm of existence. So focusing on the infinite space and promoted to the, promoted to the level of jhana up to the, the Arupa 
state. So Arubajana state. Then he attained the Arubajana as a result of the wholesome Agasananjayarana uh, consciousness. He reborn in the Agasananjayarana Bhumi. In this way, Vinyananjayarana, Agenjanayarana, Nivasanyana Sanyarana. So altogether, 20 Brahma realm of existence. So here, the, uh, if we connect the, the, the jhana and the plane of existence, and we will understand here, the first jhana caused to reborn in the first jhana realm in this way. So this was discussed in, the, uh, in this lesson, because we will focus on the kamma and patisandhi, the relationship between kamma and patisandhi in the next lesson. Here, just mentioned in the... Uh, in the realm of existence, there is no fifth jhana. So here you see that there is no fifth jhana realm. So, so the fourth jhana caused to reborn in the first jhana realm. And the fifth jhana caused to reborn in the fourth jhana realm. Uh, a little bit complicated uh, due to the difference of classification in types of the about the types of the jhana for the sutta system and abhidhamma system. Okay, so let's continue to talk about the plane of existence. So here we will start from the apaya, four types of apaya. The four plane of existence at Bhumichuka, there first we need to know is apaya, which is the pattern of the, the table. And <clears throat> apaya, apa and aya, two are combined with the combination of two are apart device or afsan. A ya is happiness. So uh, there's no happiness in the realm, in the four woeful state. But actually, you can find the, the animal planes, there's some animal they are enjoying their life. It is bad, but it's nothing uh, compared to the suffering in the woeful state. It is only they are a small amount. That is why it is not to count it. It's not to count. So, Ofu flame, the meaning is a baya, the device of happiness. Then, the four Ofu state refers to the realm of existence in which pain and misery, great, so greatly sexy happiness, most of the time, they are, uh, they are in pain and their life is full of misery. Then another meaning is the evil doers reborn in that apaya as a consequence of evil deeds. So we can understand the apaya is well uh, without happiness. So for those who like to be happy, uh, need to apply to be reborn in the apaya. And also, if a person is performing the evil deal, as a result of evil deals, he will be reborn in the apaya. So uh, re rebirth is not happening due to the individual's wish. The rebirth is uh, happening due to the condition, which is called the gamma. So it is produced by gamma. That's why we just have to avoid from the evil deal if we are afraid of, we are afraid of being born in apaya. Then the first apaya is niraya, which is called the hell. At the lowest plane of uh, existence in the Buddhist cosmos. So, uh, if we count the 31 plane of existence, we understand the highest plane of existence is Niraya, so hell is, is the a very <clears throat> a fear, uh, awful plane, it's the lowest plane and uh, full of suffering. Then, here, most of the time, actually, the, the continuously from the beginning to the, the death of their life, without a moment respite, so 
they can they cannot get any minute you know the except uh the very rare case the buddha appear and uh, the the suffering just push for a while and stop for a while yeah only that moment other times they are suffering by an intense suffering <clears throat> So if we classify that there are eight great hell with the intensity of torment. So, and if we count it, the 186. So eight great hell, each direction of these hell have the fight surrounding, uh, fight surrounding minor hell. That is why each have the fight. Then, the it, it has 20 because the four direction each direction uh, have the five minor hair and the other direction have five minor hair so um one hair surrounded by 20 minor hairs so for the eight great hair 160 and originally the great hair Together, uh, together with the great hell, becomes the 168 hells. And the beings are suffering theirs due to their gamma, evil kamas. Then this is about the hell, and the name of the hells will be a, a complicated to, to remember for their for the beginner level. So I'm I'm scared of all the names. <clears throat> and if you wish to know about the name of the great hell, and you can see in the comprehensive manual Abhidhamma. And for the minor hell, you know, uh, it is not easy to to bring here. And maybe in the uh, uh, when we study about the Wisudi Mega, we was we were we was we were bring that. Okay, so let's continue to the second woeful state of uh Tirichana Yoni. So Tirichana Yoni and Tirichana any man can down. So born as a result evil. This, as I said, the some Tirichana, some animals, they are enjoying their life, they're happy and they get a uh, you know, good condition to live. <clears throat> but it is included in the woeful plane or apaya because the suffering is greatly exceeded. So compared to their human and diwa, and also uh, considering about not fulfilling their wish, they are included in the woeful plane. And second reason is because uh, there's not much opportunity for the meritorious deed to perform. So the, you know, the only a few animals have the opportunity to perform the meritorious deed, like the, uh, like the as you may heard about that, the, the frog dewa of frog deities and and the the Pali Liaga who served his service the whole was or the whole was to the Buddha and his monkey in the same forest like this only a few and also during this this time also you may see that some animal have the opportunity to perform the meritoriously but only a few the many of them the animals are uh, losing their opportunity for the meritorious deed just performing in the unwholesome deed for their living and also for their ignorance. Then another type is beta. The spear of beta, uh, the, the, the beta is called the hungry ghost, usually translated, but that there, there are many different types of beta. Uh, 
not only hungry ghosts. They are pitas are beings who are tormented by intense hunger, usually. And they seem not getting enough food all the time due to their gamma. The gamma block their although we share sometimes you know that some people they are sharing and um, food to going to the cemetery, etc. And but the peta have the very rare case to eat. It is not because of the there's no food. The food will be there, but they cannot eat due to their gamma. This is the, the work of gamma. The intense hunger and thirst. Although they live in the uh, uh, beside the lake, they will not get to take uh, to drink a drop of water due to the gamma. This suffering comes due to the gamma. And also they have different types of, of the difficulties in life. So affliction from which cannot find relief. So very difficult life, the peta. Sometimes you know that uh, you can see some people have difficulties to, to eat. Although uh, there are many foods they cannot eat. Uh, they live in hunger and thirst. In many cases, you were, you, you, even maybe we always say can find the time we cannot eat and we cannot drink due to the condition. So here, the gamma to be born in the, to be reborn in the peta life, the originally block for the for the food and drink that's why they live in intense hunger hunger and past and another type okay so uh, for the betas they, there's no separate plane so animal also no separate plane yeah beta also no separate plane also although we we count them as one of the plane of existence, but usually they live in the same world of human beings. But the beta, they live in the forest, uh, box or cemetery, etc. There, which is not the pleasant place in the human realms, not pleasant place. Uh, so they usually live there. That is why when the uh, when the people are going somewhere and then they encounter the Peter, they are the the secluded area. They encounter the Peter and then they see the I see the hungry ghost or some something there. And another type is asura asurakaya. So they are they are translated as the titans and. Also, Peta Asura, they are Peta Asuras in suffering because uh, as, the man, as the name of the Abaya, their life is full of suffering for the Peta Asura. And Asura, that in the Abaya realm. And the name of Asura, and we can find the different class of being. So another class of, of being by the name of Asura is Dewa Asura. It is included in the Tao Te Ching and according to the commentary, the group of the Dewas and they fight. They, they have the battle in with the the gods of Tao Te Ching. So the Dewa in the Tao Te Ching and they are fighting to do uh, their history, Dewa history. Okay, so then the another type we can see the Beta Asura. The T10. So this is the Winnipatika Asura. So Winnipatika Asura, fallen Asura. A beings dwell in village or in the vicinity of village. So, but they, although they are living in the village, they cannot, uh, they cannot eat from the table of the human beings. Uh, they survive by the remaining food 
of the residents. So when we discuss the food and that they can eat, when we, you know, in the uh, in dustpan or some somewhere, and they live, it means that they are suffering. They are suffering. That is why they are called the Winnipatika Asura. Also consider us the um, the hungry ghost. Uh, when we see the hungry ghost, so very similar. The beta and asura, that's why we call the beta asura also. But there are, you know, the different, uh, different class of the beings. That's why they are considered as the, the different class of the being. And asura, then this, these are four woeful states. And being in the hope, four woeful states are suffering all the, all the times. Okay, let's continue about the beautiful seven beautiful planar existence in the in the sense peer realm. So one is Manusa, human realms, and the other six are uh, Dewa realms. So sense peer heaven, sense peer Dewa realm. So the realms of uh, for six Dewa Dewa are. Uh, you know, the, um, they have the better light than uh, one after another. Okay, so all together we call the sense pure blissful plane seven. Seven sense pure blissful plane. So if we divide the sense pure plane or is this down and, and we get the seven sense sensuous blissful plane and four awful plane. This is the sense pure plane. Then <clears throat> Let's talk about the Manusa. Uh, Manusa, the beings in the realm of the human, the Manusa, uh, they have the sharp mind and developed minds. But sometimes, the um, some people they are not very sharp in, in ignorance. But compared to the animals, the the group of animals like this, so a sharp mind and developed mind. And also the Manusa, we can understand the plain, the life of the Manusa, the life of the human being is capable of the weighty moral and immoral action. So good or bad, whatever, we, according to our intention and according to the other condition, and we can do the very, a powerful moral action and also very serious immoral action. So for the moral action, we the ability of human being can promote it up to their Buddhahood. You know, their the Buddha appear only in the human realms. That is why the Manusa, the state of the um, Manusa is irrespectful. Then, also serious crime of the matricide and patricide can can be done by the human. You know, uh, they were born due to their gamma. They cannot kill their father, and they cannot kill their mother. <laughs> and but for the human, they can kill. But sometimes they are if they the Dirichana also they can kill their father and mother, but it is not considered as their uh, matricide and patricide. Only the human realms, the matricide and patricide, very serious crime. If one commit that types of uh, that type of immoral action, and he definitely will be reborn in second life in the hell. Definitely. Uh, so this is about the human realms. Then we can understand the human life is a mixture of both pain and pleasure. Pain and pleasure. Sometimes we get the pain and sometimes we get the pleasure. Sometimes in suffering, sometimes in happiness. But because it offers the opportunity for attaining the highest happiness, so the highest happiness, what does mean highest happiness, to attain the enlightenment. And 
So that uh, human realm is considered as the beautiful realm. And beautiful plane of existence. Uh, it is reborn as a consequence of the good deeds. So to be reborn as a human, we must already done the, the good deed or wholesome deed in the past. Without the wholesome G, we cannot be reborn in the uh, in the human realm. Even some some people come to the human realm, but they their life is full of suffering. It it is their time during the lifetime the the suffering comes due to the unwholesome karma. But at the moment of Pati Sandhi, that Pati Sandhi is is blissful the rebirth linking of blissful realm. That is why only the wholesome deed can produce that rebirth linking. Okay, so that is the human realm, so Manosa. Then let's see about the sixth sense sphere heaven. So uh, the abode of Dewa. The first one is the realms of four great kings. So it is four great kings. We have to uh, understand about their four great kin. They are like the guardian deities, guardian deities of uh, the four directions. This means actually because they are powerful, they are like a guardian deity of the, uh, like a protector of the, the beings in, in, the, in each direction. So to the east, the king, the divine king of the Tarata rules. So his attendants are Gandhava. So the Gandhavas are cel uh, famous celestial musician, Gandhava. And in the south direction, the Virunlaka. Virunlaka is Kumbanda, the king of Kumbanda. And the western region, the, to the west, the Virupeka, the king of the Naga, is which is dragon, king of the Naga, king of the, the dragon. So this, they are not anime dragon. They are the, the Dewa dragon, so demigods dragon. And for the north side, where Savana rules, the Yeka, so they are translated as separate. Actually, they are all of them are kinds of dewa, kinds of dewa. Their life is full of happiness and enjoyment. Only when they get angry or they they have the um, that you know the um, improper way of thinking, they suffer. Actually, their life is full of happiness and given by their karma. They are the lowest Dewa realms. And second one is 33 gods, the realm of 33 gods, Tawa Tensa. It comes from the word Titensa. Titensa is 33 in Pali, Pali language. So Tawa Tensa, the leader is Saka, the king of Dewa. Is many times he came to the, the human realm and to the Buddha and many Sutta was in the Saka Sanyutta are preached uh, in relation to the king of Dewa Saka. He has the 33 assistants. So the, they are, are the group of, of noble minded men. And during the life, lifetime, when they were reborn in the human, human life, and they have done many types of the whole Sankama together, and they reborn in the, the Dewa Ram, second Dewa Rams together, and they enjoy there. From that time on, they, they, they are called, the Rams is called the Tao Te Sa, and then many Saka changed it, but Still, the name is Tao Densa, and the capital city is a famous city as Sudasana. So then the third Dewa realm is Yama. 
So the king is Suyama. So the name Yama comes by the, uh, the they are happy, uh, presided uh, by their rulers. So the king Suyama or Yama uh, care about the happiness of the king, the, uh, the, the devas in the realms of Yama. So actually, this, this is the name of the uh, Deva realms, and they are enjoying themselves due to the gamma. And this one, Dusita, is very famous due to the, uh, that is the abode of the Bodhisattva in his less existence before attaining Buddhahood. So uh, before he reborn as a Siddhartha prince, Prince Siddhartha, and he was in Dusita for many years for the whole lifespan. And after, after the life of the Vaisantara, the Bodhisattva was born in Dusita and lived uh, the whole life. And he reborn to be the Buddha in the human realm. This is the Dusita, uh, full of the, the joy. Tusa, he had to sita. Tusa uh, is the pity, same as pity. So their life is full of the uh, pity, rapture. Then the fifth Deva realm is called the Nimanarati. So they are powerful to create the object of sensual enjoyment. So uh, by thought, so by their mind, Whatever they are thinking, this is good, and they can create. So in accordance with their desires, so especially powerful. And the other Tao Te Ching, etc., also, well, they they can create something, but not that powerful to the minority for the enjoyment. So this is uh, the place to make whatever by their their mind to create their mind and they can enjoy. And for the highest Deva realm, Pranimita was Savati. So here, Pra is other. Nimita is the created one, created items, or uh, Savati, and follows to their own desire. So here, Pra others refers to their, their attendants. So in Jain, and then that their attendants have to create for. Or the 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 dewa in the pranimita wasauti, and they have the power. If it is not enough, complete enough, you know the uh, how to say enough good good enough, not good enough for their enjoyment, and then they can control the object of enjoyment. This is the power of the the highest dewa in the sensual plane of existence. But if we consider for those who are trying to be enjoying the life, you know, that the very good place, very, very good place. Then, okay, so let's talk about the Brahma Wara, which divides off the sensual desire. So different happiness, you know, the, in the sense pure plane of existence, the being are uh, enjoying due to their, their craving for sensual desire, craving and sensual desire. And in the realm of the fine material sphere and immaterial sphere, they are also uh, enjoying uh, with the happiness in their life. But the difference is they have no more sensual desire. Their happiness is not related to the sensual desire. But if we consider, and because our knowledge related to the uh, sensual desire, so without the sensual desire, how we can happy, without the sensual enjoyment, how we can happy, uh, we, we, sometimes we cannot consider. But if you practice the samatha meditation and up to the jhana level, entering to the jhana, and then you get the happiness, it is not related to the any sensual enjoyment, but it is higher, a uh, higher feel, the uh, very, you know, the nicer uh, enjoyment or nicer feeling than the sensual, the sensual feeling. 
then the three first john are plain so the names are the the realms of brahma's retinue this is called the brahma parisacha so there in the in the table i i give the pali name here the english translation so brahma parisacha brahma retinue and brahma prohida is the minister maha brahma is the great brahma and they are the are the ruler of that realms but actually they are not constituent in the like a human being and they all are entering to the jhana and they get the happiness and the through the attainment of jhana they are, this is called the brahma retinue brahma minister and brahma here the brahmas refer to the uh, the third brahma they are maha brahma the brahma is retinue and brahma is minister and they are the beings in the first jhana planes on the second jhana plane the minor infinite radiant so here uh, pritaba apamanaba apasara so pritaba apamanaba apamanaba infinite less so so uh, depends on the level of the concentration and the supporting manifestors and the, the level of second jhana is divided into three according to that classification the beings are also classified into three and prita subha apamana subha apasara so here related to the aura the rays so the minor rays infinitely and steady aura so the third jhana plane is this then so you have to who study the pali and english together then and you have to memorize uh, to explain about their the realm of existence in brahma world then the seven four jhana planes um seven four jhana planes are great reward so this is called the vihapala great reward one only one and Nam pasipiens being this is called the asanya sata and the pure abode five pure abode are called the the sudawasa the sutta is pure our size abode pure abode five and the five pure abodes are aviha atta pasudasa sudasti and agnita the five realms of the pure abode only related to only five only three highest nowhere Noble persons. So the first one, Awiha, Durewal Rams. So less long, less long. Now we will see the lifespan later in this lesson. And Atapa, Syrian Rams. So Syrian Rams, stable. And Sudasa, beautiful Rams. And Sudasi, clear sight of Rams. This emphasize the name is. there are special qualification only in the special qualification but bear all the good condition related to the all realms <clears throat> then the highest realms the akanita so this is the highest one in the pure five pure abode okay let's continue about the immaterial plane of existence the first realm of infinite space second one the realm of infinite consciousness so akasa nanchayana and vijnana nanchayana akasa is space vijnana is consciousness then the third one akinchanyayana this is the realm of nothingness focusing on the nothingness of the infinite consciousness infinite consciousness uh, it developed to the third jhana that is fine uh, nothingness the realm of nothingness and the realm of neither perception or non perception very 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 smooth perception is there that is why is considered as the neither neither perception nor non perception then about the realm or is this then so these are due to the wholesome attainment so the realms the name of realms also follow to the wholesome attainment so infinite space because this first jhana can be attained focusing on the infinite space that is why 
Her name is giving us the Agasa Nanja Yarana. Agasa Nanja is infinite space. Ayarana is the, the, the base. That is why the base of infinite space is the wholesome, the name of the wholesome attainment. So due to the wholesome attainment, the beings are reborn in the realm of existence. That is why the realm of existence uh, also uh, given the, uh, the, the same, the similar name of the wholesome attainment. Now, all the, the immaterial plane are, are given in this way, uh, given the name in this way. So here, the infinite space refers to not just a space, the ordinary space, Ag Agasa here, where has been barbaded by the counterpart sign of Agasina. So one develop the nine Casina. So the Agasa Casina, not necessary to develop. Here, the Casina counterpart sign, the, he spread out his counterpart sign then taking off or not paying attention on the counterpart sign, focusing on the Akasa. So that becomes the Akasa. Removing the uh, counterpart sign Akasina, it, it becomes the infinite space. So focusing on the infinite space, he develops his concentration up to the attainment of the first uh, immaterial jhana level. This is called the attainment, wholesome attainment of infinite space. Okay, so second, secondly, so wholesome attainment of the consciousness, consciousness, not paying attention on the space, is focusing on the consciousness of the first jhana, then develop to the second jhana. Then the third one, not focusing on the consciousness itself, the focusing on the nothingness or, or the non-existent of the disappearance, non-existent or voidness of the, the first jhana consciousness uh, up to promote the concentration promoter up to the third jhana level of immaterial attainment. And the last one, again, he promoted to the Another level, at that level, the consciousness is very subtle. That is why the consciousness, uh, uh, the accompanying manifestors of sanya also considered as the very subtle and very smooth. That is why uh, neither perception nor non-perception. This is for immaterial plane of existence. So regarding the immaterial plane of existence, we need to know some more information. So here, each immaterial attainment leads to the rebirth into the corresponding realm. That is why the name of immaterial realms are the uh, same as the uh, immaterial attainments. <clears throat> then here's four in the four immaterial realm of existence, the matter all the materiality has been totally transcended. So only consciousness and mentality, which is called a group of mentality, remain in that realms. All you can find in the immaterial plane is this that is only mentality. So you cannot see anything in the immaterial plane is this then. You can only he take the object of mentality by your mind. Then, the that we can say the about the the realm of existence here. If there is no materiality, how we can we can uh, determine the realm or the exist the plane of existence? So. It is just a space, just a space, a silent space where the process of mentality happens. So the beings are the process of mentality, only the process of mentality. So the realm is only the space, just a space, a silent space of the 
the process of mentality, where the process of mentality arises. So the plane also cannot be seen by the eye. The being uh, also cannot be seen by the eye. That is why. And for, for, the, um, for the normal person, it is difficult to consider about the existence of that types of realms, immaterial realm, space and mentality. So there the beings, the beings are only the consciousness and mental feathers. So they totally absent the materiality, no materiality at all. That is why if we, we count the aggregate in that realm of existence, including the beings, so we get only four aggregate of mentalities because the plane of existence also not materiality, just a space. Space is, you see there, uh, space is, uh, is Akasa Panyati. So that's called the Panyati. And there's uh, the four aggregate, if we take off the ultimate reality in the realm of existence, we can find in the process of the beings in that realm of existence, they are four aggregate of mentalities. So the Vedana Kanda, Sanya Kanda, Sankara Kanda, and Vinyana Kanda. We can never find uh, a single piece of the, the aggregate of materiality there. This is the more, uh, the information about the, the immaterial plane of existence. So now we get the four aggregate in their realms. So what about the other realms? For the human realms, how many aggregate? There are five aggregates. So for the asanya sata, only one. Here in the Aruba realms, only four. So let's talk about the um, uh, the classic classification of the uh, the exist plane or existence by the aggregate. So this is so ikawagara. So we can see the being, and also we can see the realm of existence. So a single aggregate of material that is called the asanya sata. We can find only the aggregate of a materiality alone in the asanya sata, beings, brahmawa. Then secondly, chetuwagara beings. So we can find the four aggregate in that beings in the four immaterial sphere, or Arupa Brahma. That is why that life or that realm of existence is called the chetuwagara Bhava. And the rest, 26, uh, including the, the other Brahma world, Diva realms, human realms, and, and a four whole, whole food states. Altogether, six, 26 realms of existence, the beings are considered as the complete five aggregates. So this is the classification of beings due to the aggregates they belong, they belong to. So this is the, the class, we already introduced this in the lesson two. So eka, chattu, pancha are the number and wakara is aggregate, okay. Then let's continue to the uh, individual, individual in the plane of existence as the second part of this lesson. So plain and individual, the test of Abhidhamata Sangha said, Putu Jana Nala Pandi Sudawasi Su Sabata. Sota Pano Sakara Gami no Chabi Pukala. This is the, uh, the test talking about the Sudawasa plane of existence. Then for the Asanya Sada and Apaya, so Ariya no Pala Pandi Asanya Paya Pumisu. So two plane of uh, two kinds of, of realms, asanya sata and apaya bumi. So there's there's no noble person, uh, ariya. Then sesatani sulabandi ariya nari apisa. Sesatana refers to the sutta, uh, except sutta wasa, asanya sata, and four of the state, uh, including uh, some Brahma wall, 
DORMs and human realms. The Ariya, Nariya, or noble person or non noble person or the ordinary person can be found. So let's see the translation. So in the pure abode, the past one, so Dawa says to the pure abode, no wildlings, so putu jenna, no wildlings. And Sota Banaja here, Sota Banaja is the stream entourage. Sakara Gamino, the ones we turn up, are found, no found, so are not found in any way. That's why we can understand, we cannot find the wildling, stream entara, non retana in the pure abode, five pure abode. That is why we said that only the three highest noble person are there in there. So Dawasa, this is to do this Abhidhamara Sangha test. And secondly, the noble one are not found in the non pacifian realms and in the Wopu plane. So Ariya, Nopalapandi, Ariya, yeah, uh, noble person are not found in the Asanyas that are non pacifians And Abaya Bumi, Wopu plane. This is uh, studying the test. Okay, in other planes, in other planes refers to the Sesatani Su, Labandi are found in the area and Anaria, so noble one and non noble ones. This is what the test says. But if we consider about their individual and planar existence for complete understanding, we need to consider another test too. So here, the classification comes in Apaya. Okay, only awful ruthless individual, Dogadi Ahituka. So, as mentioned in the Putu uh, Janna, Sotapana Sakara Gami. But here, the Ariya Nobala Bandi, the test itself, Abhidha Madha Sangha emphasized only the noble person. But actually, in the Apaya, the other types of the, the wildlings are also cannot be found. The only one types of Dukati Ahituka individual, a woeful, ruthless individual, can be found in the Apaya. But we, we, were this, we will talk about the, some exception for that. In Manusa and Chattu Maharaja, Rajika, so two Rama existence cover the 11 individuals except the woeful, ruthless individual. Uh, that is the, the individual of Apaya. So in the Manusa and Chattu Maharaja, two, two plane or existence cover 11 except that look at the Ahituka. So you get the 11 for two realms. And this information is very important. You know, without knowing this, this information, you, you cannot classify the individual in the realm of existence and you can make many mistakes when we are counting the individual or identifying them. In the higher five Dewa realms, so here only Chetu Maharajika, so the higher ones starting from the Tao Te Sa and Yama to Siddhani, Manarati, Parani, Mishta, Vasavati. The five Dewa realms and cover the uh, 10 individual, except the two rootless individual. So one, one rootless individual, only in the Abaya, and second one can be found in two of the Manusa and Chattu Maharajika. But in the higher Dewa realms, only the individual with roots can be found. It, they are all together 10. So uh, double rooted individual, triple rooted individual, and eight noble person, all together 10 can be found in the five Dewa realms. Then the Asanya Sata among the system Brahma realms or prime material sphere realms, the Asanya Sata belong to the only one aggregates. So that person is also blissful, rootless individual, only one types can be found. Then the pure abode, as I said, the highest noble person, three. Then the remaining Brahma world. The remaining Brahmawa except the Asanya Sada and pure about that nine triple rooted individual, nine triple rooted individual. But 
you know, the, the immaterial plano is this then only eight because there is no uh, path individual or stream entry. And in the in chapter three, we already studied the, the path consciousness of stream entry cannot arise, cannot happen in the immaterial realm of existence. That is why the individual of that path consciousness also absent in that plane of existence. So, so this um, enumeration have to be noticed to have the proper understanding about the individuals in the plane of existence. Okay, so let's talk about the Sukhati Ahituka. So sometime if we, we skip this and you cannot understand what it means, the Sukhati Ahituka, the blissful, rootless individual, it is one of the rootless, two rootless individuals. So here, first of all, the human beings and the human beings, among the human beings, you can find the, the blind, deaf, mute mentally, uh, retarded or mentally uh, deranged. That is not, you know, the um, normal one. It is you know, born as uh, eunuch and half, half, how to say there, hermaphrodite. Actually, it is called the, um, the, how to say, the abnormal in the, in, in the way of uh, sex, sex, sexual uh, condition. So another one, sexually indeterminate. Maybe some of the, uh, the, the men, they, they were not like this kind of classification. But actually, this is talking about the nature. We are not talking about the individual in that state. And we are talking about the nature because the Abhidharma emphasized in the in their ultimate nature, not discriminating anyone from any, any group or anyone. And just focusing on the nature and the qualification of that nature. So the, the one who who is the blind bone or blind deaf, etc., are considered as the Sukhati Ahituka. But because their, uh, their rebirth consciousness is rootless, that's why Sukhati Ahituka, blissful, rootless individual. So in that life, they cannot attain the enlightenment and also they cannot practice to the attainment of jhana. And the commentary explanation said that blind bone, etc. So here the blind bone refers to the one. Even at the moment of rebirth consciousness, there's the karma produce the rebirth consciousness. That rebirth consciousness cannot generate the eye due to the difficulty of the marriage. So it is uh, being born as a human being is due to the uh, merit he has done in the past. But he, he was born as a rootless individual. It is the, uh, the, due to the difficulty of the marriage that is incapable of generating iron or eos. So blind born or blind dead, uh, born, born blind or born dead, etc. And that type of individual is called the Sukhati Ahituka Pukala. Sukhati Ahituka Pukala, just to know and not to, uh, not to discriminate anyone. That's, this, this is uh, the expression, do not apply. That. That's why the, this expression of the bone blind or bone dead, etc., do not apply to those who emerge from the mother's womb blind. And so mother's womb, even during the time of the Pati Sandhi, he was born, he was born as a, a double rooter or triple rooter individual, but due to any other reason in the mother's womb, inside in the mother's womb, during the time of mother's womb, he's, he lived in the mother's womb. And the iron can be damaged. And also the, the eel can be damaged or at, at that time, 
He was born as a, a blind person or dead person. Or after the after the 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 birth, he was born. Also, due to any reason, his eye and ear can be uh, can be harmed by any case. They are not counted as a born blind or as a born dead, etc. So it's, it means they are not sugati ahituga. They can be either uh, double rutial or triple rutial. So that is why we cannot decide uh, Sion. Oh, he was born from the he was born uh, from the mother's womb as blind or dead. That's why he is uh, sugati. We cannot decide in that way. Because it can be possible during the stay in the mother's womb also change his condition of the eye sensitivity and ear sensitivity. The only reason we can we can recognize him as a Sukadi Ahiduka is if he was blind due to the gamma from the beginning of the life, or he was dead due to the gamma from the beginning of the life. So uh, we, cannot, uh, we, we cannot identify the person from, from when he was born as the mother is one. So we have to understand uh, about the, the, the system to classify the, the blind born or blind death. This is the explanation from the commentary. So this, the same principle applied to this uh, born death, etc. cetera. So uh, the other also changed due to the, uh, the other condition. At the time, we cannot consider he is sukadi, he changed to the sukadi ahituka. So the individual in one life cannot change during the, during the lifetime. Uh, the Patisandi uh, determinate about the types of individual. So during the lifetime, any change happen, we cannot say the types of individual change. The only change is uh, promotion to the Tihetuka uh, Warlin individual to the number one, up to the number one. That is only change during the lifetime. Uh, other another times is the uh, the determination come from the gamma. So so in all such cases of rebirth consciousness is invariably rootless only when the defect is already inheritance of the gamma. Here you see the uh, the situation to be reborn as a as a any types of the being is inherited of in the gamma that generate the rebirth. So uh, this is the work of gamma during the, the, the moment of Prisanti. Okay, so this is called the Sugadi Ahituka and about the, uh, the nature of individual. So another one I would like to, to talk about the individual is the the Boma Sita Diwa. So, so this is uh, quite interesting. So art boundaries, deities. So art boundaries, deities. Uh, that types of deities, uh, although they are regarded as the divine beings, the divine beings, celestial beings, but they are not dwelling in the heavenly realms, but in the uh, the place close to the earth depends on the earth. So some sometimes their mansion or their uh, residence, residence are uh, residing on the on earth. So especially in remote region, remote region. So the the place not occupied by the human beings. So their their place is this their mansion, but it is unseen by the human eyes. Uh, Sometimes in the forest, mountain, mountains, and is the shrine that human man makes. They are called the Bumma Dewa. They are called Bumma Dewa. 
and earth day one. And also sometimes uh, their residence is it depends on the tree, etc. They are called the Rukha Dewa. Rukha Dewa. So Buma Dewa, Rukha Dewa. And the other uh, celestial beings in the heavenly realms are called the Agasa Dewa. Agasa Ta Dewa. So uh, the, the Buma Dewas are included in the Chetu Maharajika realms. So the sometime in the Sutta explanation, the Bhuma Dewa comes in the retinues of the higher class of powerful Dewa. When like a Wasawana king of the Dewa come and the many followers of the Dewa following to him, there one of the class is called the Bhuma Dewa and as a retinues of the higher class of powerful Dewa. And also, the, the defected Mary who managed so the deities, uh, their karma to be reborn in the Dewa is wholesome D. But actually, that wholesome D is not that enough, not powerful to give the higher life. That is why sometimes they have difficulties in life difficulties in life. So they are Dewa, but still they are difficult to live on their life in proper way. Like this is so in the human realm also, you can see that many people were born in the, in this very, you know, there are a beautiful cities and, and the surrounding by the, by the higher class of the beings and the rich person, but for him himself, his life is full of difficulties. All the time he is trying to survive like this. So in the, among the Dewa also, that type of Dewas, although he was born as a Dewa, but still difficult to live. That is, you know, sometimes we can find the, um, the deities in that, case, in that situation. This is called the Bhumma Dewa. Then also another type of the, the beings is Unipatika Asura, the fallen Asura. So this sometimes the, the people misunderstand the, because it's difficult to identify this. He is Dewa. You know, the Dewa must be full of happiness or uh, like the, uh, <clears throat> the brilliance, uh, you know, the mansion, etc. But actually, the play is not that beautiful. So he is Dewa or sometimes misunderstand he is Asura or Winipati Gapita or some, something. So these two types of beings are uh, very complicated or not easy to identify for ordinary person. You know, you, as you see there, are, the Dewa also sometimes have the difficulties and also Asura, uh, they are also living around us and also sometimes they can also haunt and oppress a human being when they fail to obtain the food if they have the difficult to find the food and then they they if they they are able to do that and then they haunt or they oppress the human being uh, then they ask for the food that that they are the work of the Winipatika asura Sometimes maybe it is done by the Dewa too, when they have the difficulties and they ask for the food to offer for the human beings, etc. Then also the commentary is plain. So Diganigaya commentary, Mahawaka. And there's, you know, the, the types of the being, but they are out of the four lawful state. It means that they are not fallen asura, and they are out of the woeful state, who belong to the, belong the mansion. They have their own mansion, but live in the life with the mixture of both pain and pleasure. Also, sometimes, uh, usually they are, they are regarded as the yaksha or yaksha, yaksha. That 
are considered as the Winnipatika. But because they are out of the four woeful states, they are not Beta, they are not Asura. But sometimes we understand the Yaka as a Beta. But according to that commentary, commentary of Diganikaya, although their life is mixture of both pain and pleasure, they can be uh, they, they can be different kinds in their rebirth consciousness. Sometimes they reborn as a rootless individual, a sukadi ahituka, or sometimes they reborn as a double rootial or triple rootial. Because uh, we can see the yekha, piyankara, mata, etc., the yekha attain the enlightenment after listening to the Dhamma talks. Like this. So it means they are not rootless individual or they are not double rooted individual. Seeing they are able to attain the enlightenment, we can decide that definitely they are triple rooted individual. That is why the commentary is playing the types of the yaka uh, can be uh, different kinds in the rebirth consciousness. This is, they are called also considered as the Winnipatika, Winnipatika beings, because their life is not in this stable, uh, stable condition as a Dewa, uh, very similar to their uh, human, but not a human nature, not in the human nature. That is why they are considered as, as the Winnipatika. So they, they can reborn a Dravaruta or a Trabaruta or rootless Vipa consciousness. So this is about the uh, uh, different types of the uh, beings <clears throat> or individual. Okay, let's see uh, about the individual and the planar existence. Uh, this, this slide uh, repeated uh, several times, referring to the beings and individual. Okay, so here it mentioned the 12 class of individuals and 31 planar existence here. And how, how many individual can find can be found in that. So especially let's consider about the abaya only one types, the woeful, rootless individual only one type, so one. Then Manusa and Chattu Maharajika two. So Chattu Maharajika is Diva Ram and Manusa. So there are 11 except the uh, rootless individual. And for the higher Dewa realms, higher Dewa realms, uh, except two individuals of rootless, the other 10 can be found. And from the Brahma world, first jhana, second jhana, and third jhana, there you can find the nine individuals. So, and also the Vihapala of the fourth jhana realms. Uh, there you can find the nine individuals of Tihituka. So, starting from there, uh, triple root out individuals, a higher nova person, all together nine individuals you can find. And for the asanyas that are only one types of blissful rootless individual, as their only materiality, so materiality, all the materiality are rootless. That is why rooted individual, but the, they are uh, Brahma, Brahma wall. That's why the Sukhati Ahituka. And Sudhawas are only three years. The, the fusion individual or non returner Arhata Pala and Anagam, uh, uh, sorry, the Anagami Pala, Arhata Mega, and Arhata Pala. And also Arupa Rams, the absent comes here. The, uh, this must be eight. Okay, this must be eight. So I may, I'm going to make the correction here because the first part. Path individual or stream entry absent here. That is why only eight individual in Arupa Ram. Okay, then let's see about the um, lifespan. Lifespan is not difficult just to just to read. <clears throat> so here they are the name of the the great hell. So the great half are not mentioned here because the lifespan of being is whole state. 
Open state human realms and fallen asura has no definite limit. Okay, so open state. But sometimes the maximum number of the years in the in the hell are mentioned in the commentary. Okay, so the lifespan of beings for woeful state, human, fallen asura also consider that no definite limit. So sometimes the minimum for the human minimum 10 years shortest and maximum uh, many thousands so incalculable years very long so being in the opu state their lifespan is depends on their evil karma as long as evil karma has there to be there and support to be there and they will be suffer and at the end of the uh, evil karma for that rebirth they will die so sometimes a few days, sometimes many millions. So there, even the, the queen of the King Basinati, uh, Malika Dewi, he, she was born in hell only for seven days. So like this. And, but for some being like uh, Dewadatta, so many millions of years. Then the specific lifespan are there. Also, they, the karma, can be the cause, but this is the maximum number. Uh, if a few karma, only a few karma, and they cannot sustain their life, and then the Dewa also will be, uh, well, will die during the lifetime, during the, before complete in the lifespan of their own. Yes, Chattu Maharajika, for their lifespan, for, by their year, only 500. Nowadays are 1,000, Yama 2,000, Tusita 4,000, Nimana 8,000, and Pranimita Wasawati 16,000. This is for their times of uh, 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 calculation according to their times. Uh, here, if we count it in by the human realms, human, human times, so the one day of Jadu Maharajika equal to the 50 years of the human, human times. So uh, one day, 50 years, and 30 days a month, so 1,500 years. And for one year, and 18,000. 18, and 500 years of the celestial years equal to the 9 millions of human years, human years. In this way, the doubling, doubling by their lifespan for celestial year, and also uh, one day of the years of human years, also double. So uh, if we make the uh, two times of doubling, it, we need to multiply by four. So nine multiplied by four, 36 million, etc. So in this way, we can count it. The, maximum lifespan of the six Dharma Vajra Dewa Ram. So since, since pure Dewa Ram. In this way, uh, we understand the lifespan of the since pure Ram. Then let's continue about the uh, uh, lifespan in the Brahma Ram. So there are three three kappa before we count the Brahma realms, and we have to consider, we have to know three types of the kappa. So antara kappa, interim eons. Interim eon is the trans, uh, transitional duration of human lifespan of rise and fall. So sometimes the human's lifespan is the 10 years. So now there are many people consider that the 17, 75 year is is for the human being, but okay, we can consider the 100 for the longer lifespan. So the, the human lifespan is going down, going down to the, the 100 to the 10. When it is, uh, it become the 10, it, it is the minimum lifespan of human beings, humankind. So it come to raise up again. So uh, 100, 
After that, the thousand, etc., up to the uh, innumerable, the incalculable, so incalculable years. The humans are, are live long in innumerable, in, incalculable years, asanchia. After that, and going down again. This is one. And up, then going up and going down in this way. At one time here, the minimum to maximum and maximum to minimum is one time interim eon, which is called the Andhra Kappa. This is one Andhra Kappa. And another type of Kappa is Asankhya Kappa. It is incalculable eons. Here, incalculable eons refers to the time periods or 20 times interim eons. So uh, going up and going down 20 times is called the Asankhya Kappa. And the great eon, it is cannot be, it cannot give the example <clears throat> of the year, uh, the counting by the number. That is why. So the great eon is explained by the example, the mountain of solid <clears throat> granites, one yards and about the seven mile height, a very high mountain can be displayed appear by the stroke in once every 100 year by the sip close, very smooth one, 100 year past and one time stroking. So uh, considering this, it is, you know, they're almost impossible to destroy, but by the time it was also gone. And that is the time periods of great eons. So after understanding three types of kappa, and we can continue about the um, lifespan of the Brahma. So the past Brahma realms difference. So here, the Brahma Parisaja, so that is the lifespan is one part of an eon. It's just in the Vidamata Sangha, just say the an eon. But actually, this eon refers to the uh, the Asankhya Kappa, the second one, Asankhya Kappa. And the, for the Brahma Prohita, the half, half of an eon lifespan. And Mahabrahma is one eon of Asankhya Kappa. It's 20 in Trump's eons. Then for the second Jhana realms, from the second Jhana realm, it is clear so Pratava, uh, two kappa, this two kappa, this is maha kappa. So maha kappa is a great kappa, great eons. For two times great eon is their lifespan. So Abhamanava, four times, Abhasra, eight times. So doubling. The Pratava, Subha, 16, Abhamana, Subha, 32, and Subha, 64. In the Fojana, the, by the power of Fojana is jumped to the 500s. So two realms, uh, less long, so 500 Mahakapa, great eons. And for the Sudhawasa, up to the 10, and 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 8,000, and 16,000 of Mahakapa. This, they are the lifespan of the uh, being in five material sphere realm. And in the immaterial PRM also not difficult to remember, but not easy to, uh, to end up. You know, the Mahakapas, so uh, 20,000 Mahakapa, 40,000, 60,000, and uh, 840,000 of Mahakapas in the Niva Sanyana, Sanyayana realms of existence. These are uh, the lifespan in the the Brahma realms, the being of the Brahma realms. So now we in this lesson we we study uh, about the planar existence and individual in that planar existence and lifespan of the the beings in the respective planar existence. So in the in this lesson uh, we so I a little bit skip the test reading. So you need to read the test. Uh, Going to the page number 189 to the 199. There, Abhidhamara Sangha test with the uh, translation by, uh, given by the Bhikkhu Bodhi. 
mentioned there, and then you can read and you can connect with the explanation and the test reading. So, so that uh, explanation become clear and easy to remember. Okay, that's all for today. Right? Explanation, let's continue to the Q&A session. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. First question is, um, how the mind or process occur an individual who practice Bodhisattva way, the individual have psychic power, know where be, where be born, will be changed lineage. Gotra Bodhana arise. Uh, I'm sorry to discuss this this question because this related to the Mahayana tradition. And because they, our tradition of Tirawara, uh, Tirawara Abhidhamma does not mention it, it does not mention about the Bodhisattva way. So I am lack of the knowledge and also the Gudravunyana. So the, the name of Gudravunyana is same, but you know that the, the, the reference will be different. So I'm sorry to say that we are not going to discuss about the, this question. How many? duration, minimal and maximal time when individual into the attainment of cessation according the, to the individual wishes. Yeah. So uh, the first of all, the duration of the, the attainment of cessation is uh, due to the, the, um, the, the determination. So according to the individual wish, so minimum is not mentioned the maximum is seven seven days seven days it is mentioned that the seven days for maximum okay the question is uh please uh, don't give example in daily life what or how of very slight object mm -hmm. okay so very slight object re related to the pricing store so during the five six dog, you know, sometimes it's, it is mentioned that sometimes the object itself is very slight. Sometimes our intention cannot pay attention on that. So, and um, you know, then when you see this, I to say the scenery outside, uh, very beautiful, and then you can enjoy all about there. But, there in background, many visible form, but not much appear in your uh, in your range. That is, uh, you know, the very slight. So, if as long as you are focusing on the on the great object and the the process related to the great object will will run in your mind, mental process. But if you don't pay attention on the great object, going beyond that, sometimes you know the uh, sitting uh, on the mountain and then you see, and you know, you are not focusing on something around you. You are seeing far away. And the object is not clear and very slight. At the moment, taking this object and your process, uh, your process, is taking uh, your process is the uh, the object uh, uh, the process taking the very slight object. So, at uh, some time, uh, you are hearing the voice or uh, the sound around you, and loud and low. So, if your mind connected to the the louder one, it is great object a very great object, etc. Then. Sometimes you are not paying attention on that. Although the, the sound are there and your mind going beyond that and then connected to the very low vibes, not clear. Sometimes very almost is, uh, you know, the, uh, the disappear. That moment is very slight moment. We can, we can understand in that way. And also through the touching and touching or by the air or breeze, your mind, sometimes your mind is uh, 
taking the object of the very clear or very easy to know and you attach something somewhere is okay it is the great object and sometimes your mind is not paying attention on that and breeze coming like that so at that time very slight can be understood okay so the fourth question is there are many types of pitas when we share merits with this pita can all pitas receive our sharing of merits and be willing fish from their sufferings uh, it is impossible sometimes you know that it depends on their nature yeah, we all are carrying our nature from life to life and then another life so due to their nature and they can rejoice sometimes although sharing the marriage in front of them many times they cannot rejoice and so that's why only some Peter can receive our sharing our sharing and for many reasons you know that the even during the lifetime, we can consider, and many people are doing uh, good deeds on their marriage, but many of us cannot rejoice. Sometimes we ignore. Sometimes, you know, that we have a different views, and sometimes some people get angry too. Even they get angry. So that is why, due to their nature and also by the influence of other conditions, they cannot, you know, the, if someone is fe uh, feeling um, you know the being sick or in uncomfortable condition you know the one is residing around him that sometimes does not make him happy you know, why he is making noisy here or like this you know due to the different condition so we can understand only a few can receive our sharing now, otherwise, you know, the very easy to escape from the Peter life. That is actually it is not so not that easy. Now, if we have a good intention and we have we if we can carry this knowledge, you know, if we rejoice and I will escape from this suffering or something like that. And if we can carry this nature, this good nature to the next life, we can rejoice. Otherwise, we cannot rejoice. Although they are sharing their, their marriage, and then we ignore or we take a diff different advantage. Okay, so we have to be careful not to be reborn in the Peter world. Then the fifth question is In many communities, we have many types of temples. The median in these temples are able to help others with the help of God via the median body. These gods may have some supernatural power and may be able to heal or foretell some incident, etc. Are the gods the devas from the heavenly realm or they are some powerful pekas? Uh, possible, possibly is the powerful peta also can do that and also the deva is not actually uh, they are Consider it as the heavenly dewa as their types, but you know the the Buma dewa or Ruka dewa especially do that. But sometimes the the heavenly dewa also do that. But uh, actually, the nature according to the nature, uh, the smell of the human being is disgusting for the dewa, even far away for seven mind away, you know one yojana, and. The they can smell of the human being, and so we can understand they were not happy to come again and again to 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 see to communicate with the human being for the dewa normally. That is why, uh, for the heavenly dewa from the higher realm, not easy to come uh, if they don't have the special intention. Uh, so usually these types of uh, performance are done by the art dewa or roka dewa, the, the three dewas, and also sometimes the pitas. 
I understand that way. Okay. So the sixth question is, where can we find the Dharma Guardians and Mara in the 31 planes? Okay, so the Dhamma Guardian actually is refers to sometimes refers to the Sutawasa Brahma. Sutawasa Brahma. But actually they are not trying to protect the Dhamma or the protection and not to disappear, especially by the effort of the, um, the monks who are studying and then handing hand, 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 hand over the scripture, Buddha teaching, and Priyadi. So the Dhamma Guardian only a few times appear in the, in the scripture, uh, in the books. So the, they are considered as a Sutavasa, like a Brahma Sahampati, etc. And the Mara is one of, for the Mara, he is one of the, the naughty Deva from the highest sensual plane of existence, that is the the Pranimita Vasavati, but he is not the king in that realm. He is just the, uh, I want to say that the, the one who does not obey to the king. So the disobedience one. And this is the Pranimita Vasavati. Okay. okay. Then the next is how can one be reborn as one of the four great kings and Saka king? Uh, the way is explained that to to perform the meritorious deed for the others and for the community, giving the service to community, paying respect to mother, parents, and the elders in the community like this. So many of the wholesome deed can lead to the Sekai's uh, life, Sekai's life. But actually, um, maybe they need the opportunity to be a Sekai, but you know, the, the kin, uh, the, the four great kin also already have, and also the, the kin also already have. So we need to wait for the opportunity to be there. As you know, the, the pre, even the president of the country is a person, only a person. So the many he already done, and then the, we need to wait for the for the opportunity to be a great king or the Saka. But maybe we can be a company of them and very, a very similar position to be reborn in their place. Okay. Okay. How can one be reborn to one of the heavenly realms? Is it related to their desire or due to the kind of karma they have accumulated? Actually, as I mentioned in the class, in, in, the, uh, in this lesson, you know, the being uh, born by the Buddhist Sandhi, that Buddhist Sandhi is determined, determined by the, the karma, but not for the desire. But desire, uh, when it becomes the upadana, the, the desire, for example, is the tantra craving and becoming, become the is stronger craving, become the upadana, clinging. So clinging can lead and the uh, lead, make, just make the leading. Without the power of wholesome karma, we cannot be there. And the, so the karma is the most important. And by the, uh, by the choice of their desire, we can say desire is uh, in relation to the upadana. And then they, if, for example, if I have the wholesome deeds already ripened to be reborn in the uh, to be reborn in the Dewa realms. And my clinging or my attachment is toward the Tusita because I heard about the many good things about the Tusita realms. So uh, that thought or that attitude or desire influenced by the, the attachment can lead me to be reborn in Tusita by the and the wholesome karma, find the power of wholesome karma. So karma and desire together working. Okay. Um, then how one reborn as Mara, what power the Mara possess in order for them to be able to influence or harm to other beings? Okay, so this is, uh, you know, the, the one is not, I, I think there is not intentionally to be Mara. He is one of their, uh, one of the Pranimita Vasavati uh, 
the, the Dewa, the powerful Dewa. So he was reborn by the nature. As I said, the, the, we are carrying on the nature, the Dhamma nature. So by, by the nature, accumulated different and naughty nature and the different, uh, you know, the, the not really good, the bad nature, he became the Mara. He became the Mara. He, he is considered as Mara. Sometimes the, the Dewa in the other realm of existence also make the uh, different Ahusam. You know, the, even, even the, the Dewa make the, uh, you know, the two monks to argue at like this. So uh, the, he is not the Mara, but he make the, the work of the Mara like this. Actually, uh, so the Mara also one of the Dewa, he is not born as a, uh, he was not born as a Mara, he was born as a Dewa, but by the nature, he is regarded as a Mara. But not only one Mara, and different Maras are there, you know, as you see in the, uh, in the human realm also, many people um, doing like the, doing the same work of the Mara, destroying the happiness of the others and destroying the, the wholesome deeds of the others. Here also the influence, influence can come a different way. Sometimes, you know, the, the Mara come into our, you know, that there are 10 types of Mara's army. These are called the, not the exactly Mara, but they're similar to the work of the Mara at like this. So if the Mara come directly to the person and then he can come and then he can discuss, you know that he is very powerful and he is skillful to pursue someone to do the evil deeds. He disguised in the different form and then he can pursue to do, you know that for the monks to do something and he can do, he can, he, he can disguise as a, as a woman or like this. And then for the, uh, for there are some other people, and the Mara know how to make the wrong way to the person, and he can come. And other time, he can uh, he can appear uh, in front of the 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 monks, you know, the monks and Bekuni in front of them, and come come to appear and discuss. This is what or what like this. Uh, also. And he can fight directly, directly fight to their beings, you know. So this is the, what the Mara can do. Okay. okay. We understand there are also Dhamma teacher in the heavenly realms. Who are they and where can we find them? Okay, so first of all, the Dhamma teacher are there. So Dhamma teacher, sometimes the monks from the human realm, go up to the uh, Dewa realms and then they, they give the Dhamma talk. And sometimes the, even the, the, those who already learn, maybe the, the Dhamma Tika, the monks dying and born in there, and some like you, you know, they already learn Briyadi here and they're reborn in the Dhamma, uh, in the Dewa realms and remembering what you have learned in the human realm, oh, I already know, and then they share at this they are, and they are called the Dhammakatika Dewa Buddha, but not uh, any kinds. It is out of the Dewa who already learn and they share their uh, their knowledge. So they are called the Dhamma teacher. Are there any practitioner who are from the previous Buddha times still existing in the heavenly realms and teaching the Dhamma there? How can we meet this Dhamma teacher? Okay, practically it is difficult, you know, that you need to practice the divine, uh, to, to attain the divine eye and see. And also, I also could not see that. So, uh, the one, for example, the Brahma Sahambati, the, the Brahma from the Sudawasa realm, uh, he is still there, he is still there, that is why uh, he was already practiced in the, at the, during the time of the uh, during the time of the previous Buddha and still live as it is up to now. And, and before, when the Buddha decided, oh, uh, not, it is better not to teach because the, the teaching 
the Dhamma, the nature of Dhamma and the nature of beings are not, uh, you know, they're not mesh, uh, almost opposite. That is why uh, in the consideration not to preach the Dhamma, at that time, the Brahma Sahambati come to the, uh, the human realm, to the Buddha, and then request, make his request. So um, that types of Brahma are still there. Uh, I don't know about the Dewa, maybe Dewa uh, also that's long because the Kasapa Buddha and, and Gorama Buddha during these two times are not, are not that long, not that long. Uh, it's possible, that they, I think that the possible, the Dewa is still possible to live there. So if you wish to meet and practice up to the attainment of the divine eye, and then you can see, and then you can, you can, you can talk to them. Okay. Okay. A question is, is it true that the future Mateya Buddha and his future chief disciples are already at the Tusita heaven now? I don't know any reference for that, but many later works of the uh, the books are uh, mentioned about that. And but in the uh, Tirawara, uh, t- uh, the Pali Canon, uh, we cannot find any reference for that. <clears throat> okay, if one reborn to the Tusita heaven, can they learn Dharma from the Bodhisattva there? Of course, yes, if they wish. Know that if they they don't wish and they don't have any any desire to learn dhamma, they ignore. Uh, only those who wish to you know, who wish their dhamma, if they are, they are you know, the uh, you can wait for if there is no material Buddha there and he will come there bef- before he become the Buddha. Exactly, that is why. Uh, if he is already there, you can learn. And if he is not there, and you can wait for him. Okay. Thank you, Bhante. Then the next question is, where can we find the yakas? How do they look like? Okay. Uh, yakas, actually yakas are not beautiful. Uh, you know, the, like a uh, hungry goes sometimes. And sometimes they can disguise in the form of the beautiful human or beautiful devils from themselves. Because the yakas, as I said, the yaka can be in different kinds. Some cannot, uh, some are not powerful, so they cannot change their form. Some are powerful, they can change their form. And also, not only depends on your wish to see, depends on their wish to see you. So, if you <clears throat> wish to find and you try to connect with the unseen being, you know, the, the, the being we cannot see by ordinary eye, but if you develop your concentration and you can connect them, and also by the power of the loving kindness and developing loving kindness toward them, they will connect you even if you cannot connect them and they will connect you to, to get your, your marriage, actually, your sharing. So how they look like, you know, the, in, the, in the painting, they are very, you know, the, not really good looking. And sometimes the, the, the yakas are very beautiful according to the, the painters. Okay. <clears throat> Then in the hell realms, there are beings who are torturing the hell beings. Are they also petas or other types of beings? Yeah, they are considered as a peta. Vini yeah. patika, uh, they are born any of double rooted, triple rooted, or rootless rebirth consciousness. Can these beings be able to practice Dhamma and become successful in Jhana Magapala? Yes, yes. Of course, if they, they are born in the, as a triple rooted, only the triple rooted can practice up to the level of Jhana and Magapala. Can they explain about Sugati Ahituka Pukala, blissful, rootless individual, about those 
born as eunuch. As we understand from history, one becomes eunuch intentionally and not as an eunuch since born. How can we understand about this sentence born as eunuch? Much? Yeah, yeah, as I said, that a eunuch, so uh, actually that eunuch, the nature, if the nature uh, was carried from the, uh, was produced by the gamma, he is considered as a Sukhati Ahituka, you know, uh, during the lifetime, by the effort of the, uh, the sometimes the, the medical treatment changed to that condition also, you know, that that change does not consider us at that. But this is for the Abhidhamma. For the Abhidhamma, it does not change. For the Vinaya, from the side of the Vinaya uh, recognition, that change also consider uh, if a person changed in that way and he cannot be ordained as a monk. That is why from the side of the Vinaya, that change is accepted. And from the Abhidhamma, we cannot change the type of the being. Okay. The tough question is for the different hells, do they have different lifespan like heaven realms? Their lifespan is counted like human lifespan, or the hell also have multiple foes like the heaven? Oh, this is, you know, the, the, for the hells also, they have the different lifespan. Different lifespan is maximum lifespan, not uh, for the uh, due to the gamma, they can be shorter. The duration of the hell can be lifespan of the hell can be shortened if the, the like as I said, the, the Malika Queen Malika was born in the, the hell, but only seven days of human human times is just short for the. The hell lifespan of the compared to the lifespan of hell. So, although they have the different lifespan, like uh, heaven realms, and the the actually the duration is depends on the gamma. If one already done the gamma enough to complete the whole lifespan of the hell, so he for him, uh, if that time is complete down, maybe he will die and reborn that in the exactly the same hell or move on to another hell. You, if the gamma is still remain to be in hell. So they have the, the manifold lifespan, and, but the main cause is gamma. Uh. Does human realm refer to our planet, Earth planet, or Earth is only a small place within the human realm? Yes, actually, uh, that the Buddhist cosmos system say the 31 plane is one universe. And another universe also has the 31 plane. And in this way, uh, uh, incalculable universe are existing at the same time. So there are um, uh, many human beings out of our universe. Our universe refers to the Buddhist cosmo, uh, cosmo system. So many 31 play and many Deva Rans, there are many beings. Um, but, you know, the, according to the system, only this universe the Buddha appear on, in only this universe, and but the Buddha can pay his business to preach Dhamma to the outer universe. And the outer uni the beings in outer universe also have the opportunity to listen to Dhamma, but they the, the Buddha will not appear in that universe. It is said in that way. Then is it true that only one Sama Buddha can appear at one specific time in the entire 31 realms? If it is true, then our planet Earth is a very special place because many Buddhas have appeared here. Of course, yes, yes, that is right. The, as the, the literature mentioned in that way. 
know, do, uh, it is not easy to approve. You know, even you encounter the Buddha and you ask and the Buddha mentioned still maybe, you know, that you can develop your doubt or uh, whether it is true or not. You know, if you accept the literature explanation is true that our human realm is special, special one to uh, be in the place for the Buddha's appearance. Okay. To clarify PowerPoint slide four under great health for site times five minor health, CMA page 190, 190, mentioned four minor health. Which one is correct? Thank you. Okay, please wait for one. There are also 160 comprehensive manual of Bidama, 190 also is plain. Uh, the four minor has not four minor has, it is a four direction. Four direction in each direction have the five minor head. So that is why the one great hell have 20 minor hell, surrounding 20 minor hell. So altogether it's become the 160 for eight. Then by the original eight. Altogether, 169, 68, sorry, 68. So we need to check in the 190 again. Okay, then the second clarification is PowerPoint slide 17. One asan kaya equals to 20 antara kappa, CMA page 198. Mention 64 antara kappa. Which one is correct? Thank you. Okay, so the 20 such interim ion equal to one incalculable ion asankhya kappa. So asankhya kappa, so 20, 20 interim and one incalculable ion. That is mentioned in that way. So. So where is that? The 64. 64 under kappa. So 118, 198 is plain that. So 20 under kappa equal to one asankhya kappa. I cannot find the 64 explanation of 64 uh, antara kappa about that. Okay, uh, please uh, please check again. So actually the first one, the one asankhya kappa equal to 20 antara kappa is mentioned in the 198 of comprehensive manual Abhidhamma. Okay. Thank you, thank you. If someone suicide, they will reborn in one of six films. Can they reborn as human, 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 or human being? Human being, okay. Or human beings. It is difficult to say that to decide that. You know that considering the suicide is not a really good manner, because you know the why we make that that action of suicide. Uh, that is usually uh, by the anger or by the depression or something, uh, especially influenced by the mental disorders. So it's not easy to be reborn in the blissful plane or existence by that mind. And but sometimes you know the different intention is mentioned in this in the teaching in in the um, uh, literature. Uh, some monks, they make the suicide due to, uh, to maintain, with the intention to maintain their position, they have attained like a jhana. So by the, during the time of jhana, after that, still the nivarana or five mental hindrances are wiped out far away. And they want to die to maintain uh, by the influence of their the the jhana they want to be reborn in the higher realms also that also possible is seen if they 
uh, they make suicide in that situation. So this explanation can easily misunderstood that Buddhism encourage or Buddhism accept the suicide. Actually, uh, Buddhism just see the nature of the dead and reborn and the nature of the consciousness, how it happened. Not, fo- not um, you know, the focusing on that. For those who with anger or with the depression or any influence or mental illness, he makes suicide. It is not really good. He, he must, he should try to recover from that bad situation and trying to be in good situation of the mental state. So uh, I cannot decide that he can be reborn or not, but considering he can reborn in the higher realm, such as the Brahma world or that. So also possible, it seems possible to be reborn in the blissful plane because it is not or killing other animal or other other living beings, not making the pana the pata. So uh, the only thing we have to consider is the, the condition of mental condition, how it happened. So by the hopeful or wholesome, wholesome state or by the occupied by the unwholesome state. The only thing is to be considered about that. Okay. So just now, in the teaching, Pante mentioned the the uh, the Eastern King, Western King, Northern King. Uh-huh. They they all rules different Deva beings. The Southern King, uh-huh. the Viruhaka, the the Viruhaka rules over any Deva beings. Southern. Yeah, the Southern. Yeah, uh, Viruhaka is called the Kumbanda. Oh, what is Kumbanda? What does it mean? Uh, that. They also the yeah the kind of the dewa, but they have the specific types. You know, they're like a human being. Also, we have the different types, and the kumbanda specification of the uh, the kumbanda is twice mentioned that the um, the kanomis practical is the forest, mountain, and hidden treasures. So, actually. In Myanmar, we call the Usazong, etc. And actually, they protect the uh, property, hidden prop- treasures. And actually, not protecting or they are feeling, are feeling happiness in relation to this. So their place is full of their treasures like this. And uh, they are very powerful, uh, divine power. So they can go, usually they can go in the in the air like this. So that is a type of the divine beings. And also they import in their uh, combat or uh, the battle of the uh, Dewa, Tawadensa Dewa and the Asura group. Also they impose and they are uh, the soldier of there. Okay, let's start our aspiration and share marriage to all beings. Please repeat after me. Imina bunyaka me na. Imina bunyaka me na. Mami bala samagamo. Mami bala samagamo. Adam samagamo hodum. Satan samagamo hodum. Yava Nibbana Patiyam Yava Nibbana Patiyam Idam me punyam Idam me punyam Asawakaya Vaham Hodu Asawakaya Vaham Hodu Idam me punyam Idam me punyam Nibbana Sapatiyo Hodu Nibbana Sapachayo Hotu Mama Bunya Bagam Mama Bunya Bagam Aba Satanam Bajimi Aba Satanam Bajimi Esabe Esabe Esamam Esamam Bunya Bagam Labantu 
Punya bagam labantu. Satu.